And while it's time now for us to fine tune our car knowledge, for that we're joined by Brian Bowerstock from West Escondido Auto. Good Thanks morning. for joining us. Absolutely. So we are talking about thermostat and coolant hoses, of which I know nothing about. And basically the cooling system, yes. With the, the temperatures now we're getting into summer, right? we see a lot more radiator hoses, uh, radiator thermostat failures. Okay, so let's talk about these guys. This is a coolant hose? Yeah, correct. This is a coolant hose, and this is one that came off a vehicle, and we actually cut it open so we can kind of see what's going on inside of it. Um, what happens is electrochemical degradation. There's a lot of metals flowing through the cooling system. Mm -hmm. And what it does is actually, although a hose may look okay on the outside, it starts to eat the inside of the hose. And that's where the failure starts. The inside layer fails, you get a bubble in the hose, right. and then eventually the hose blows open and rips apart, usually at the most inconvenient time when you're like, driving down the freeway or going up like into the mountains. Like any time I would think is an inconvenient time. Pretty, pretty much so, because here in Southern California we're all on the go and we're usually sure. on our way someplace important to right. us when this does happen. So then how often should you um, replace one of these hoses? Um, usually we recommend hoses, especially in Southern California, between uh, five years, 60,000 miles in that kind of area. Okay. That's when they start to break down. Okay. Some people get a little longer out of them, um, but you are pushing it. And the problem with a hose failure like that on the freeway, you may not know right away, and you can cause severe engine damage, obviously, if the cooling system oh, really? dumps on the coolant. Yes, correct. So is there a way to go get it checked out just to see how it's looking? Um, we can often check hoses by the feel of them, mm -hmm. but to see the inside of them is very difficult. Sure. Once, once they've been aged and get you know up between 60 and 100,000 miles, they're definitely worn internally. Okay. And so exactly what does this thermostat do again? Okay, this is a thermostat here. It actually regulates the temperature of your vehicle. It should be changed. It's a uh, mechanical device. Oh, okay. and what happens is your vehicle warms up. It has a, a pellet inside of it that opens that allows coolant to flow to regulate the engine temperature. Oh, got it. Um, these do stick after a while. Mm -hmm. um, we recommend between a year and two years of replacing them okay. um, because if one does stick shut, then usually you end up with a hose failure and internal engine damage because the vehicle will overheat. So this is something you can't just ignore. I mean, you have to have this checked out. It's a good idea to keep it maintained. I mean, you will run into special cases. People say, I have a hun I got 100,000 miles out of my hoses. Um, that's great, except for when you do have a failure and it does cost you a lot more money. I mean, it could cost a wish. lot. <laughs> you're going to wish you took care of it before, correct? Okay. And especially, like you said, with it getting hotter and it seems to be getting, like today's going to be a, a record breaker. It's going to be it hot. It feels hot already, and so these hoses are more susceptible to... Well, absolutely. Uh, the temperatures are extreme on people. It's definitely extreme on equipment and cooling systems and things like that. Um, and this, these past couple weeks is when we started to see a lot more hose and radiator failures. Right. The air temperature's up, the engine temperature, uh, cooling system working a lot harder to keep the engine at a regulated temperature. Therefore, we end up with failures. Okay. Um, expensive to replace these guys? Um, depends on the type of vehicle. You can see this is a newer style hose. Um, right. Older days, radiator hoses were just one single piece. We oh, have okay. hoses going all different directions sure. off of them now. Um, it can be expensive, uh, depending on the vehicle, obviously. Um, certain vehicles run a lot more. Certain vehicles have a lot more hoses on them. And not as expensive as it would cost to fix a car if this were to explode. <laughs> Definitely not as expensive if you blew a hose and, and destroyed a motor. Then obviously, yes, you have a lot higher cost on a vehicle versus a uh, getting the maintenance taken care of on it. Okay, well good to know. I didn't know anything about these before, so <laughs> every weekend you, you at least inform the women <laughs> something betcha. about their car that they didn't know anything about. So if you have any car questions for Brian, thanks for joining us. You're you can welcome. drop him an email. The link to his website is on ours. That's fox6.com and you can click on Hot Topics.